So I'm going to show you here how to make a very lovely buckwheat banana bread that's much healthier than the usual version but just as delicious and it's gluten free. So you add one cup of buckwheat flour. The buckwheat flour has a naturally kind of sweet nutty taste. It's really a game changer as far as I'm concerned for this uh, delicious banana bread. And I would never go back to the wheat. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon next. Organic if you can. Then you want to add salt. I like Himalayan salt because it contains all the trace minerals that processed salts don't. Next, you can add a quarter cup of soya milk or any milk really. I use a homemade organic soya milk so it doesn't have any of those additives. Then you want to add one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil or you can use another oil if you wish. It's pretty flexible but something neutral tasting. Of course we got to have our bananas the riper the better then they're nice and sweet and a lot of less work. Next instead of an egg one tablespoon of pre-soaked chia seeds. So you soak it with hot water for about 10 minutes. Chia seeds are naturally mucilaginous and they're a great substitute for eggs. One teaspoon of baking soda. And then one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You'll see a little bit of a reaction going on there. So this is a nice uh, vegan banana bread. That's why I use the chia seeds or even if you just forgot your eggs and you need a substitute. Three quarter cup of walnuts really makes a lovely texture. You can add those in. Oil your pan. I ended up adding in four drops of liquid stevia to give it some extra flavor, but you certainly don't need to. I'm gonna put this in an oiled pan and bake it for 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. And to make sure that it's done, you're gonna do the fork test. Stick your fork in, nothing gooey comes off of it, you're good to go. And that's it, yummy, enjoy.